Hello and happy Wednesday, my lovely, lovely listeners. I hope you are having a great day. I am having a great day. Or else, if I'm not having a great day, I'm going to come back to this video and I'm going to tell myself that I'm having a great day. I just threatened myself in my own video. Okay. Today we have a collection of five strange experiences, kind of a catch-all of uh, just weirdness that happens to people, sometimes haunting, sometimes just strange. So, I hope you guys are uh, ready, and I hope you guys enjoy. If you do, hit that thumbs up button. If you really like it, make sure you hit that subscribe button for more. And yeah, that's about all I have to say. So here are five strange experiences straight from Reddit. Enjoy. So about 12 years ago, when I was around 7, my mom was dating my stepdad. He lived in the downstairs room slash apartment of his boss's house. Just for clarification, his boss's house was a three-bedroom, three-bathroom, and then downstairs there was a garage, and on the other side of a garage was the room. It was much like an add-on suite. It had its own bathroom and living room and bedroom. Anyways, my mom and I would often go over to their house. We were all friends, and my stepdad's boss even had kids my age, so we would play together. There are a number of paranormal experiences that happened in that house. At night, you wouldn't want to leave the room you were in, because the house just had this overwhelming, eerie feeling. You would hear random doors open and close, and lights would just magically turn on. The TV turned on almost every night. Now, I didn't live there, and I often refused to sleep there, so half the things I'm going to say are just from what my mom has told me. One night, my mom was sleeping in the spare room upstairs in the main house. She woke up in the middle of the night, to find a little girl hovering upside down, just staring at her. She said she couldn't move or blink or talk. After three minutes, she said the girl had disappeared and she was able to move again. She left the room as soon as she could. The creepiest thing that ever occurred was when my mom and I came to the house one day, we heard a very loud banging on the garage door, and it sounded like Amber, the boss's wife, was screaming for help. My mom quickly unlocked the garage door, and opened it just to find it completely empty, and no one was even home. We left right after that. In my stepdad's suite, they decided to remodel and change the floor from the gross old carpet to hard wood. After tearing up the beaten old carpet, they found satanic symbols all over the floorboards. In the garage, there was this tiny door that led to a basement-like thing. It was really like a crawl space, but it was tall enough for someone five foot and under to stand in. In there, they found writing on the walls saying, F you, daddy, and go to hell. They also found a very large box, large enough to fit a human inside of it. I'm not sure why, but towards the end of Amber and the boss renting the house, they decided they should burn the box, and when they did it, the ashes left the shape of a human body from the torso up. Nothing was in the box except a bunch of hate letters addressed to the girl's father. After burning the box, all the paranormal experiences stopped but they moved a couple months after that. My whole town burnt down last year in November, so hopefully that horrible house went down in flames. A few months ago, my fiancé and I went over to her sister's house for a night of drinking, and ended up crashing in a bedroom in her basement. At some point in the night, she cuddles up next to me very close, and I awake to her clutching my chest. I drunkenly ask what's wrong and pass back out. The next day, I ask what happened. She said she'd woken up feeling like she was being watched and looked up to see an old man leaning over the bed, grimacing at her. Today, mere minutes ago, Christmas 2018, we're over at her sister's house and we're watching Ghostbusters 2. The movie finishes and the son starts playing with his toys and says, there's a ghost in this house, a man, he fell off the roof and now he's in a bad mood. He's buried under the house. Oh, get me out. To begin, I apologize if this is the incorrect subreddit or an inquiry that isn't allowed here. I posted this on our cryptozoology, but after giving it a bit of thought, I believe this may be some sort of supernatural entity. Anyways, a bit of backstory. I live next to a heavily wooded area, as we call it back in the boonies, in Virginia. I walk up and down our large driveway with my dog to exercise on my days off work. This morning, I was walking down my driveway as usual, with my dog trotting beside me, 
and this is where things get bizarre. I heard rustling in the tall ferns next to me. I look over to see the rear end of a thin, lanky, pure white creature walking into the trees. I initially thought it was an albino deer, as it had a similar body type. My dog instinctively ran down to chase it. As the creature approached a large hill running up into the rest of the wooded area, my dog froze, like as still as a statue. He didn't bark or move a muscle. He wouldn't respond when I called for him. Now, my dog is a large, territorial, boxer-hound mix. The kind of dog that is sweet towards those who he is close to, but would give his life to defend his home. Since I live next to the woods, there are many woodland critters running around. You will often hear my dog chasing and howling at these animals throughout the day. Basically, it was odd for him not to chase after this creature that was so close to him. I've never seen him freeze like that before. And that's when I saw the creature moving up the hill, on two legs. It was like it transitioned from a quadruped into a biped in an instant. It moved insanely fast, given how it appeared to struggle to walk. I'm not really sure how to describe it. It just... lurched. Like each step was painful for it, yet it knew what it was doing. It was similar to waddling, but more... jagged? I caught a glimpse of its pelt then, and it wasn't the creamy sort of color albino animals typically have, but it was pure white. Like it was some sort of ivory silhouette. I didn't see the rippling of muscles beneath it or anything. It was just like a white sheet. In that moment, I saw a pair of deer flank its side and stand as motionless as my dog was until it passed. They then bolted off into the trees, as if frightened. Once the creature was out of sight, my dog ran over to me as if broken from a trance. He seemed a lot more anxious after this encounter as well. Once again, I apologize if this isn't the right place for this, and if so, please direct me to the right sub for this inquiry. I'm extremely bewildered and somewhat frightened of this unknown creature residing near my home. At least if I can pinpoint what it is, I can feel a bit safer. Giving an identity to the unknown can help me take precautions. I used to live in a small city by the sea, which bordered into the countryside. My house was near the countryside, which had a large patch of really thick woods. Usually I would go out with my friends, keep in mind this story happened when I was around 11, and one day we decided to venture into the woods to make a den. When out there, my friend told me of people going out late at night and seeing things which I just shrugged off as a ghost story. We reached a patch of open land, which we decided to build our den at. I went into the woods to get some large fallen branches to build with, when I noticed there was a jar of ashes amongst the tree and bushes. Obviously freaked out, I turned to go back to my friends when I noticed large scratch marks on the trees, which were too big to be a cat and didn't look like it was made by a knife. I went back to my friends, and since it was getting dark at this point and we were freaked out, we decided to go home. We started walking back through the trees to find our way back. We got separated since we had to go different ways to get home. I was on edge the whole way, and once I was almost at the edge of the woods, I saw something big dash through the trees, extremely fast, and heard branches and leaves snap. At this point, I was too scared to stick around, and I ran home. I'm not sure what it was, until this day, according to old friends, people still talk about the woods being off. If you guys have any idea as to what it is, I would love to hear your theories. Also, I don't believe this to be my friends. So I want to start off by saying that I don't believe in ghosts, though I have seen them. I believe it could be some kind of residual energy crossing through time, but not necessarily an entity itself. The first encounter I had was in my bed as a young girl. I was maybe around 8 at the time. I woke up randomly around 2am and opened my eyes and at the edge of the bed below my knees, I saw a small child around 2 gripping the sheets while standing. I could only see the top half of the child's face and its hands. I will never forget those eyes. Huge, round eyes looking petrified, just staring right into my soul. The child had curly hair and reminded me of my friend's kid brother. I remember shutting my eyes as tight as I could and pulling the covers over my head for safety. Years after we moved out of that house, I recalled the story as I had many times before. I was around 16 now. My mom got very grim and said that I need to tell you something now that we're out of the house. A very young girl who was very sick died in that house, 
and your bedroom was her bedroom. I never wanted to tell you before because I didn't want to freak you out, but it has gave me the creeps all these years. Another time when I was around nine or so, my mom was in bed with me reading to me The Doll People. It was our favorite book. I was never allowed to have a door for my room so you could see out into the hallway. All the lights had been shut off at this point except in my bedroom, and my dad was already asleep. Whilst my mom was reading along, I suddenly saw my dad walk down the hallway toward the stairs, but didn't hear him go down our staircase. The house was old, and the stairs creaked every time you used them, so I would have heard him. I remember he was wearing a red flannel shirt and dark jeans, but didn't get a good look at his face since the lights were off. I turned my head around to peek the corner of the doorway where he would have been standing at the landing. I saw for a brief moment a man who looked like my dad walking down the first few steps. He wasn't walking, though. It was like he floated and disappeared from the feet up into the darkness. I called out, Dad? Dad? And he didn't answer. My mom assured me he was in bed and didn't walk across the hallway. That moment, the air got still. There was a very loud, odd static sound. There was a green laser-like line of light that formed from the middle of the room across the entire room, and then it stopped and the air was still again. What the heck was that? I asked. My mom froze and said, you saw that too? So we both had the same experience. I can't explain these events, but they are 100% true. I still don't believe in ghosts despite seeing them. I have also seen shadow people in that house, all over. My mom told me long after we moved that she had also seen shadow people consistently throughout the house. We never had any experiences after moving. It seems that whatever energy was there is kept within the walls of that house itself. I am just thankful not to have had any more encounters post-move as they were quite terrifying. So honestly, I really appreciate doing these um, five strange encounters or strange encounter collections because having a catch-all for pretty much anything that is out of the normal really is actually quite fun to read about. It really gives me the opportunity to read stories that wouldn't um, fit into a full collection on their own. And honestly, just mixing cryptids with ghosts and strange situations, uh, it's fun. <laughs> so I hope you all enjoyed these stories. If you did, please do give the video a thumbs up. And if you enjoy my channel, please do subscribe. Please do subscribe. Please do subscribe. Yeah, that's begging. I know I shouldn't do that. Also, if you feel so inclined, you can leave me a comment. I would love to hear from you, and I try to respond to everybody. Down in the description, you will find links for my Facebook, subreddit, and Twitter, as well as a link where you can submit your own story for me to read on my channel. Please take advantage of it. All that said, I will see everybody on the next video, but until then, I hope that you, my dear listener, sleep well.